Man. I'm sad. I'm real sad. Folks, I knew that Random Marcos had a lot to deal with. I knew that this fight was going to be a tough fight. I knew it. And I knew that I said, you know what? The wrestling Aranda, the improved striking Aranda Marcos, I thought maybe. I said just maybe. Maybe this would be enough to get her probably one of the biggest wins in her career against Mackenzie Dern. I thought that. I thought it and I thought it. And I said, man. You know, Randa Marco started off pretty good, you know. I thought her striking looked on point. Mackenzie Dern, though, guys, I got to tell y'all. Y'all see this picture of Mackenzie Dern? That's not how she looked. Look, Mackenzie Dern looked like a real straw weight, okay? Guys, when I saw Mackenzie's physique, like when I actually saw what she looked like and, and you know, like the, the, the changes, I said this fight is going to be very, very hard for Randa Marco to overcome. I said, as soon as I saw Mackenzie, I said, whoa, hold on, hold on. Mackenzie Dern was ripped. I'm talking about she was extremely ripped. And she looked faster, lighter on her feet. Mackenzie Dern looked like she could compete with any strawweight in the world. She, she looked as if she can compete with any strawweight in the world. She looked that way. And I said, man. I said, so is this the evolution of Mackenzie Dern? Is this truly the evolution of Mackenzie Dern? Are we seeing it right before our eyes? Are we seeing it? Folks, I mean, she looked good, y'all. I can't even sit here and say that Mackenzie Dern didn't look good. Guys, she looked good. And when I say look good, she looked real good in this fight. Um, she slipped. She tried to kick Randa Marcos, and she slipped and fell to the ground. We didn't get to see... I didn't get to see her new striking on display. Um, you know, she had been working with Jason Perillo. That's Chris Cyborg's old striking coach. Um, she'd been working with him. And we didn't really get to see what McKenzie has learned and what she can do. She slipped to the ground and Randa Marcos just fell right into her guard. Like she jumped in her guard. She threw a punch. And I was shocked that Randa Marcos, I was shocked that she took that approach. I thought Randa was actually going to let her back up. But Randa decided to go tick for tack with Mackenzie Dern. She decided to. And she played the jujitsu game. Now, normally, I would tell a fighter, you know, look, a Mackenzie Dern, don't go into her guard. Don't try to, you know, posture up with her on the ground. Don't do that because that's dangerous. But since Randa Marcos, her game style, her style is wrestling. She's a wrestler. Okay, Randa Marcos is a wrestler. So what else was she going to do? Was she going to try to outstrike Mackenzie Dern? I mean, I don't know. The first few punches Mackenzie threw, you know, she threw with a lot of heat, man. Mackenzie Dern throws with a lot of heat. And, you know, she hit a shot. She popped Randa. Randa kind of backed up. So, I mean, you know, yeah, Mackenzie Dern was throwing some heat. So, I don't know if Randa wanted to, you know, try to stand and trade. I don't know if she wanted to try to do that. You know, maybe she thought she'd get knocked out. I don't know. But I tell you what, man, when the fight went to the ground, Mackenzie Dern acted like a damn octopus. I'm talking about she legit acted like an octopus. And she took her legs and wrapped her legs around Randa Marcos. And she immediately, I'm talking about immediately, like, was fishing for a triangle. She fished for it. And then she immediately grabbed her arm and started trying to get Randa in an armbar submission. And, you know, Randa Marcos, I mean, she defended it for as long as she could. But when I saw Randa's arm begin to sublex... Uh, you know, when I saw the arm, you know, beginning to twist backwards. And then McKenzie started cranking that arm. She started cranking the arm at angles. And you can see the excruciating pain that Randa Marcos is in. Randa probably had about a minute left in the round. But the pain, I, I'm going to tell you guys, if you've never been caught in an arm bar, guys, it, it, to me, I think a Kimura is real bad. But an arm bar, and Randa Marcos, she's flexible. So she held off as long as she could, but... It's only so much, man, that you're going to be able to do that to your joints. It's only so much that you're going to be able to do before, you know, your joints just give way. And that's what happened to Randa Marcos, man. She had to tap. She had to tap, but she was going to probably, you know, destroy her arm. Um, Mackenzie Dern looked extremely good. She looked fast. I mean, she looked like she had energy, man. You know, like, guys, are we starting to see the mature Mackenzie Dern? Are we starting to see the evolution of her? I don't know. I don't know. 
but I think maybe her and Jason Perillo, that is a good idea. I think that's a great idea. You know, Jason Perillo, uh, he's more of a disciplined guy. You know, he's got that discipline that Mackenzie Dern lacked early in her career. He's no nonsense. Guys, I saw a different fighter. I saw a fighter that's probably one of the most dangerous fighters in the division. Mackenzie Dern is a legit strawweight now. She's got the diet under control. She came in at exactly 115 pounds. She didn't look drained. Even on the scale, Mackenzie Dern didn't look drained. Guys, I'm going to tell anybody in the strawweight division this. If she can get you to the ground, she can submit you. If Mackenzie Dern can put you on the ground, she can submit you. Congratulations to Mackenzie Dern on a great, great win, man. First round armbar submission of Randa Quiet Storm Marcos. I'm done. <laughs>